Good morning, it's about 10 to 11 on Bank Holiday Monday. Um, we had our first gig since the pandemic last night. Haven't actually got another one till October now, unless something comes in. You never know, it might. I am at my boyfriend's house. If you didn't watch yesterday's, you might not know that. Oh yeah, pink Crocs. Uh, anyway, still in my pajamas. Now, my lovely boyfriend has made me breakfast and it's the breakfast of gods. Oh, is that for me or is that your one? No, it's Oh. Look what he's made. He's made me a mushroom and cheese omelette with fried mushrooms on the side, olives and toast. Oh, amazing. Look what's come. Coffee. It's about half past one in the afternoon now. I'm all packed up and ready to go. I've been editing for a couple of hours. I was originally going to do some filing for my boyfriend's company, but it's bank holiday Monday and actually I need to do some later in the week anyway. So I'm just going to tag it onto that instead. Behold, look, got it on Zoom. On the washing line, the embarrassing pyjamas are being laundered and then they're going to the charity shop. IB's just come in from his office because he's been doing some work for a couple of hours and we are off to Newport now. We're going to have a bit of a date and I'm going to end up getting the train home from Newport Rail Station. So we've kind of worked it out logistically. We're going to attempt to have lunch in Sainsbury's Cafe, which should theoretically be open this time. And then we're going to go to the Newport Transporter Bridge, which is open on bank holidays. It's, it's got a lot of other opening times as well just you could look on the website i'll link their website in the description in case you're interested in visiting it so basically it's a very unusual sort of bridge with a a gondola slung under it it's like a sort of platform suspended on chains probably and cars drive onto that platform or foot passengers and then sort of they go along you know the bridge is really high up you know in the air and the gondola is slung under it, but you can walk over the bridge and all the way back down again. And when you get to the other side, you can get the gondola back over the river again. And hopefully we can have a little peep at the workings and see how it works. I think that'll be fun. And then I'll get the train home. Oh, it's heavy because I've got my drink in there. We're approaching Newport, Sainsbury's in fact, I think, aren't we? Are we nearly yeah, there yet? We are nearly there, yeah. Oh, here it is, I can see the orange sign. Oh. It's looking decidedly more open this time. something. We have a chili non carne on the menu for vegetarians. I'm going to go for one of those. I'm going to have a cup drink. Not the healthiest. Yeah. They didn't have chili non carne, but they did have shroom dogs and mashed potato. I'm going to pick this table. Yeah, it's just been wiped down, so it's a bit wet at the moment. But at least it's clean. We've just swapped to a bigger one. Look, interesting to note, I think they've got power supplies here. We've been sitting here waiting for so long, we're beginning to wonder if they've forgotten about us. IB is contemplating going up to ask. The woman down there was before us, she's not coming down. Look, it's come. He didn't have to go and ask, they hadn't forgotten about us. along there the other day past the bus station and along the riverfront to this day I still get excited at the sight of a National Express bus I used to get airport links with National Express as a young adult and go off adventuring to Portugal on my own We're going to go up there. We're going to climb along the top, aren't we, IB? Looking forward to it. He's challenging his fear of heights again. We have done it before ages ago, haven't we? But uh, not recently. Oh. I don't think it was that bad. I'm trying to get into the habit of breaking habits at the moment. There it is, right ahead. 
having a bridge appreciating moment and a gondola, I don't know if you can see it, it's sort of turquoisey blue a little roof in the middle, a little sticky up tower bit <laughs> maybe that's where the driver goes can you see it there anyway, that's where the cars go on don't they? Yeah. You can't, but you can't fit many on it looks like it's in operation it does, yeah, it says bridge closed well, the website said it was going to be open. What? A bont argai. Da. Really? I literally checked. Especially. Oh well, it's, I mean, it is not. So it's not. closed. We ain't getting up there. Oh, what a bummer. Oh, I be. We'll have to think of another date to have. Oh. Is there a walk we can do around here? He's had a think, didn't take five minutes, it was like five seconds. We're going to go and have a walk instead, somewhere where there's a seawall and a lighthouse. And I'm going to look at my train now, and then, because they're hourly, it's bank holiday, isn't it? Well, we're kind of here. As it happens, we need to have quite a short walk because IB needs to get somewhere afterwards, and because we had to wait so long for the food in Sainsbury's, we're all a little bit behind at the moment. Uh, he's just checking if he has to pay for the car park. We're at a place called the Lighthouse Inn. I vlogged it before actually, ages ago, a couple of years ago. There were horses. Do you remember Ivy? Yeah, I Those horses terrified the living daylights out of us actually. Climbing up. This is going to be a very short walk. 20 minutes one way and 20 minutes back and then off to Newport Rail Station. Is it down there? Yeah. Look at that lovely view. It's all looking very industrial over that way. That's Nash Power Station. Nash Power Station, there. Ah. A lot of mud down there, isn't there? That's the sort of thing birds like, don't they? They like to sort of pick around through it with their great big long beaks. Yeah. Oh, steps going down here, look. These sea defence blocks here have been here for decades and decades, IB reckons. You can see they're all covered in lichen. It's very windy. Hopefully the, uh, the wind muffs are doing the job. I've noticed one of them's coming off a bit, but I've, I've discovered a cool editing trick to get rid of that. I wonder what that used to be. It's blooming chilly and my hood will not stay up. Are you chilly? I am freezing, yeah. But as I just, it just blows off basically, like that. <laughs> Perhaps I need to customise this as well, get a drawstring going on with toggles. Another one, yeah. I know, I'm getting into my late night sewing projects now, yeah. The wind is whistling in my own ears, so I wouldn't be surprised if there's wind noise on this recording. I've even got it in my own ears. IB is speculating about whether these big tree things have actually washed up during a very high tide here, because as he observes, there aren't any trees. Reminds me of a bit of a tundra. Those things I was just saying to IB, they remind me of the carcasses of animals in a desert, you know. Look at that feather, all stripy. Yeah, I wonder if it came from a seabird. Oh, that's a better side. I had it round the wrong way, we were looking at the reverse. And speaking of black and white, come across a load of Frisian cows. I'm flipping Frisian and all. <laughs> oh, hello, my beautiful cows. Hello. I'm, for some reason, I don't feel nervous. I think it's because they're not all moving towards us en masse. Because you do sometimes, don't you? Yes, you cows. That looks like a dried up desert watering hole, doesn't it? Like a mud hole. <laughs> hello. Oh, look at all those flies. They're, oh, they're really bothering you, aren't they? I see you twitching your back. Yeah, it's having to, you know, get lost. It's looking a bit beachy down there, isn't it? We're almost at the lighthouse. It's by there. We're almost at the point of turning around. We're going to try and walk back along this bit here, back to where we came from. We're not walking quite as far as the lighthouse, so I've just got the zoomy camera out. So I can do this. And we can have a little look at it more closely together. Gosh, it's windy. 
the wind has suddenly dropped and I don't feel so cold anymore. I think the combination of the wind dropping and <sighs> movement <laughs> warmed me up. This is the, what do you call this that we're walking on here? A dike. Some of the land over here, maybe not this particular bit, but some of it is below sea level and would have been awfully prone to flooding. So that's why they built it and it's making quite a nice walk for us today. We're up on the bank now and I've just spotted, look over there. Oh, look, little swans winding their own business. We've come down from the dike now and we're just looking at the green murky stuff. Look, little tiny leaves, aren't they? But it looks like a lawn or something, but it is water under there. I'm thirsty. Oh, but that's okay, because I've got a bottle of squash in my bag. I squirreled. Oh, it's not in that bit. Here it is. That looks a very vivid colour. It's orange squash. There appears to be a catering bus by there. That double decker there. It says British Television and Film Services Limited Dining Bus. How interesting. Here we are, just coming to Newport Rail Station. The train to Cardiff going in five minutes from platform two. I was actually aiming for one 10 minutes later than that, but I might as well get the earlier one and wait in Cardiff. Might as well wait there as here. My train. It looks like a nice one. The train now approaching platform two is the 15 minutes later and we're nearly at Cardiff, but we seem to be waiting for platform clearance at the moment. We were waiting there for quite a long time actually. Oh look, there's St Mary Street or High Street. It's got both names and I don't know where the name change is, halfway up somewhere I think. <laughs> I have a 10 minute wait for my next train. I'm the, I've changed platforms and I'm just kind of lurking at the end of the platform. I quite like to do that. Nice and quiet and peaceful. have steamed up again. <laughs> oh. Well hello and guess who didn't end their vlog last night? That will be me. Yeah I'm spending today, which is Tuesday, editing all day. Which is my idea of true, true heaven. But anyway if you've enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up. It really really helps the channel to grow and I so appreciate that. And if you're new here and would like to follow more of my story do hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!